Welcome to Trophy TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Jean-Philippe Gabamon has been ruled out for three months. The midfield player who Everton bought from Mainz in the summer has currently been out injured for six or seven weeks already. The turn to light training last week uh, or the week before, but as, uh, it's flared up again, the injury, and he had surgery yesterday on uh, a tendon in his thigh, which will keep him out until probably sometime in January. It's a big blow for Marco Silva. He spoke about getting Gabamon back and being able to move into this 4-3-3 uh, system that he wants to play. It's a hammer blow, really, for Everton uh, and the player. You know, obviously, we've only seen Gabamon um, involved in a couple of games before doing the injury. Really, really bad news for him. You know, wanted to come in and we needed them to come in and replace Garner in that midfield, offer us some physicality and some ability to get about the pitch. And like I say, he's been curtailed with this injury and it now needs surgery. And I suppose the disappointing thing for Everton is that the surgery wasn't done kind of six weeks ago and we'd be halfway through his, uh, his re rehabilitation. But it's done now. He's had the operation and we wish John Philippe a speedy recovery. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to get on with it, aren't we? Uh, last night, uh, Seamus Coleman sent off for the Republic of Ireland in their 1-0 defeat against Switzerland in the European Championship qualifiers. That's two red cards for Seamus in his last three games, having a little bit of a, a tough time of it at the moment. Um, yeah, not much you can do about that. Tom Davis captained the under-21s. They won 5-1 as well. Um, and Yeri Mina was an unused substitute for Colombia. So all of Everton's international players reporting back to Finch Farm tomorrow ahead of Saturday's game against West Ham, like I say. So big game for Marco and Everton at the weekend. Uh, Everton have been linked with a move for Bolton duo. Ronan Darcy and Dennis Politic. Um, both young players. Politic is a Romanian, 19-year-old Romanian winger. He's played 11 times and scored twice. For Bolton this season, Ronan Darcy is a, a young lad's got one goal in eight games. We're both very, very highly rated. Um, Darcy, in particular, benefiting from the fact that Bolton have had financial constraints and have had to release a lot of their more experienced players and play the younger players. So he's got in the side there. Both very highly rated and are on Everton's radar, according to Football Insider. So who knows whether there's anything in that. And Everton have also been linked with a move for Philip Mateta, the uh, Mainz forward. He was linked with Everton in the summer sports build and Lequip both run on the story that Mateta is back on Marcel Brands' wish list for January. Everton struggling for goals, of course, this season. Uh, also linked with move for Moussa Dembele as well, of course, who plays at Lyon. But Mateta is the latest young French striker that Everton have been linked with. He has got one goal in three games for Mainz this season. Scored 14 times in 34 appearances last season for Mainz. So uh, he's um, valued at around about 30 million euros. So I'll have to see whether anything comes with that. Dembele valued a bit higher than that, around 35 to 40 million euros. So whether Everton are going to spend that kind of money in January, we don't know. We know that they need a centre forward. We know that they need a centre back as well. So Marcel Brands, who doesn't normally like to deal in January, Will he have to change his, uh, his strategy by bringing in those kind of players for Everton? It's a wait and see. And finally, Kevin Morales has done an interview with The Athletic. He spoke about his time at Everton, said that he uh, enjoyed playing under David Moyes, but if Everton were to get David Moyes back, you know, he's not sure. It could be a good thing, but it also could mean that the club goes back five years. But I don't think he meant it, how the headline's been spun. I think he meant it as... It's like returning the club back to when Moyes was in charge of stability. Uh, he said, did say that Sam Allardyce was the manager he least liked working for at Everton. He said he only used to spend about five minutes a day on the training ground. There you go. But well, I suppose Allardyce will say that he just delegated everything. But Kevin Morales moved, of course, to Antwerp in the summer. And he is uh, happy to be back in Belgium. That is it for the Everton News Daily. Subscribe if you haven't. Give the videos a thumbs up. And join us on Patreon. See you later.